In this video, we're going to look at a service called Akismet, which allows you to filter out spam by checking certain elements of something that's been submitted and uh, checking that against this service, which will then return whether something is spam or whether something isn't spam. So this is typically used with WordPress, considering it's built by the same company that built WordPress. Uh, but we're going to look at a PHP implementation. Now there are a ton of different implementations for this. We're going to be working with a small PHP library that isn't listed here. Uh, some of the ones listed here are either not maintained or they're not great. There is a Laravel one which is pretty good, um, so that's worth checking out. But obviously there are um, you know, solutions here for lots of different services. So we're going to install a library, a very small library that allows us to uh, do this with just very, very basic code. And then you can go off and use this however you need to. You might have a uh, comment system, a forum, a contact form, anything. So let's go ahead and install this library and let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and sign up for an Akismet account. This is really important because you're going to need an API key to be able to connect and use their service. Now I'm currently under a test account and this is a personal free account, but you can change the plan if you need to upgrade to something a little bit more. Now we are on our account area here and you can see that we've got an API key. You can hit reveal and that will give you your API key. So you're going to want to go and copy that and make sure that you have that ready to use when we install our PHP dependency. So let's quickly install our PHP dependency and then we can start writing some code to see how we can actually use this. So over in my text editor at the moment, I have absolutely nothing here. Well, the only thing I've got is an index file with an opening PHP tag. Now, if you haven't got Composer installed, you're going to need to go ahead and get Composer. Just head over to getcomposer.org and download that. It's a PHP dependency manager. You can obviously manually take this from the GitHub page if you wanted to, but it's a lot easier to use Composer to manage your dependencies. And if you wanted to do this manually, you can just hit download zip just here. So let's create our composer.json file inside of our main directory here. And we want to require this in as part of this project. Now it's riv code and then it's service hyphen akismet. And then we're installing this from dev master. And this is this uh, repository just here. So let's go ahead and do a composer install within that directory and wait for that to install. Okay, great, that's done now. It does suggest we install ext curl. I'm not gonna do this for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and give us some basic examples here. So the first thing that we need to do is instantiate this and then go ahead and inject in this connector, which is uh, basically a, a curl wrapper. So we're gonna go ahead and just copy this. I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and just paste this in. Now we're ready to now start to use this Akismet here. You can see it's namespaced quite heavily if you don't understand this. Uh, it's basically just namespacing these classes uh, under this, which is pretty sensible in this case. So that's uh, what this is if, you, if you're not sure. Now the next thing that we need to do is, this is slightly misleading. We have this check key um, method here and it, it asks for an API key and a blog URL which is again a little bit misleading this doesn't necessarily have to be used for a blog it can just be used for well any content really now the blog URL I'm simply just going to type the address of the website that I'm going to use this on it doesn't have to really be um, you know exact and under my account area, like I said earlier, make sure that you've got your API key handy if you've signed up for an Akismet account. And we're just going to paste this in here. Now, this will actually return a true or a false value depending on whether this was successfully checked or not uh, and whether it was validated or not. So you can imagine that if we run this now with a, a wrapped in var, var dump, ah, of course, we didn't include our auto loader. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, Composer, it comes with an auto load file, which will auto load all your dependencies in. So all we need to do is say vendor autoload.php and require that in. So here we get, if we just wait for a moment, uh, a boolean of true. 
Now, if I was to change this, maybe add an X on the end just to test things out, uh, we should get a false value back. So uh, as long as your API key is validated, you should be good to go and actually start using Akismet. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do then is actually look at sending some data to Akismet to be to be uh, evaluated or, or or to be checked. So think of it this way. You have some uh, content that you want to submit. Say you allow users to sign up for your website. They can then post a comment in a forum or post a comment on an article or something like that. Now, they're going to have a username, presumably, or just a name. They may have um, a URL, their website. You'll obviously have the body of the comment, um, et cetera, et cetera. And we pass all this information through to Akismet, and based on their, their um, checks, they will give you back true or false and say, this is spam or this isn't spam. So the first thing I want to do, really, is construct an array which will contain all of the information I want to send off to Akismet. And this array is going to represent, first of all, the data that the user sends initially. It's also going to represent the data that you might be storing in your database, and therefore something that later you could say to Akismet, hold on a moment, this isn't spam. So let's create this array now. I'm just going to call this data, just for simplicity. And we're going to introduce a few keys here. Now, at the moment, there is a bug in the, I think there's a bug in the um, this, this wrapper that I'm using or this library that I'm using, um, and it doesn't pick up on a referrer. Obviously, we're not, uh, we don't have a referrer if we're just sort of refreshing the page. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just manually add in an empty referrer. Now, there are a variety of things that you can pass through to Akismet, um, amongst which are the permalink, the comment type, but then the more important things and the things that I that probably distinguish uh, spam and ham are things like the comment author. So this might be something like Alex Garrett, for example. And we're going to change this in a moment just so we tell that so we sort of say to Akismet, I want you to deal with this as a spam comment. We can test in that way. Now, obviously, uh, the email address tends to be quite important when you're sending things along. So if the user's registered with a, uh, an email address, you could send uh, an email address along with this as well. We also have, uh, as I mentioned very briefly earlier, a comment author URL. So I could just enter, say, my website URL that's been put into my profile or whatever. And last but definitely definitely not least is the comment content. So this is the content of the user's post. So I'm just going to say hello there. This is a post. So that's all really all the data that you need to send. But we're not actually sending this yet. We need to utilize the Akismet instance that we instantiated a moment ago. So I'm going to say Akismet and I'm going to use the check method. And we'll look at a couple of other methods in just a moment and I'm also going to store this in a variable so I can actually do a var dump on that and check whether the return value was true or false so inside of check we add our data of course you could directly put this array into here but in my case I'm just putting it up here for readability and down here I'm going to do a var dump on the result now ordinarily you might do an if statement here so you might say if result or if not result uh, that was spam otherwise that was not spam and we'll talk a little bit about the processes that you might want to go through if things are marked as spam I've already mentioned them but we'll look at uh, the send ham method on this library as well so at the moment I'm going to do a var dump on the result so we should get a, a false value here unless something's gone horribly wrong so it looks like something has gone horribly wrong. So I'm just going to say hello there, see if that changes anything. Uh, maybe get rid of my URL. I think I might have accidentally submitted a uh, something with this these details before with the uh, Viagra test username, which we'll talk about in a moment. It does sound a little bit strange. Let's just check if that changes anything. And yeah, there we go. We get a false value back. So there might be something uh, there that went a little bit wrong. But in the majority of cases, you won't have things submitted uh, that are genuine. It, it might have just been because of that comment. So 
now that we have a result that is uh, not spam so in this case what we might want to uh, sorry in this case what we might want to do is store the user's comment and just go ahead and just do things as we would normally do now if something is spam and how do we test bar that example that I just did there that returned true how can we test if something is returning true now there's a username that you can use or an author that you can use uh, that will always regardless of all of the other data that you send through to Akismet will always give you a true as in this is spam and that is Viagra hyphen test hyphen one two three no spaces so that will always like I said despite any other data give you a true value back like that so you can use that to test whether this works so for example you could even sign up on your own website with a user called Viagra test one two three post a comment that comment because of their username should always be sent uh, as spam now if that was spam what do we want to do well we want to store the user's comment anyway because this could be an innocent user that's come along uh, perhaps has written something that Akismet has mistakenly identified as spam you don't want to delete that comment because then you know the user's work is lost so what you want to do is store the user's comment you want to have a process where you manually check spam marked comments so you know you could, it could send an admin an email or you could have a little uh, dashboard that you know gives you things like that now once you have checked a comment let's say for example this comment here was entirely genuine or for example the one before this was entirely genuine what you then want to do is once you have manually uh, checked and submitted the process would be like this and let me just get rid of this so you've stored something anyway but you've hidden it so other users on your website can't see it what you would then do is you would go ahead and you would use the send ham method so you would do something like let's just get rid of this result here uh, this is if the comment was not spam you would do something like the following you would say akismet send ham data and that will send this data to akismet and say this is not spam this was mistakenly identified as spam and then akismet can improve their services uh, by changing you know whatever algorithm they use to detect this now in this case this doesn't matter because um, I'm using the Viagra test user and that means that you know Akismet are not going to say oh, oh hold on a minute this username is genuine because this is just their version this is just their way of testing uh, or of allowing you to test this service uh, as in returning true for spam so if for example you have stored a comment which has gone through as not being spam then what do you do you need the opposite process to be able to say to Akismet hold on a minute this comment slipped through so for example if it's a forum users might be able to mark it as spam that might then go to you and you might then be able to review them comments that are marked as spam and then send them to Akismet as spam so it can equally have the opportunity to train itself up to deal with comments a lot better so instead of the uh, so if the this would be if the comment went through but was spam you would then send spam with this data so now when I send this this is going to take all of the information that I have provided in here and it will analyze that and say well you know someone through our API has told us that this is spam so that is a very basic introduction in fact it's a thorough introduction because this service is so uh, easy to use especially with uh, wrappers like this this can be used like I said with a lot of different languages a lot of different services there are plugins uh, things for Laravel uh, uh, packages for Laravel so it's really easy to integrate into your project and as you can see it's extremely easy to use the only hard part is about how you're going to store things for review but obviously that's entirely up to the flow of your application so that's an introduction to Akismet and how you can help prevent spam on your website